Man, woman, purple calendar CD. This is telling someone. First question is from Joe Freddy. Who are you hiding? Be who is hiding behind the tree this week? Uh, do you have a special guest this week? And uh, who is this week's special guest? Well, if you have a look um, b behind the tree, um, that's. I think that looks like me. Only while I'm wearing a mask. Um, it's it's really well hidden. Um, well, this. Uh, the front of the tree faces the river. I know this because people come from, they, they, they're on their boats and they, um, you know, need to pee and they go behind the tree. They get go up the shore of the river and they go behind the tree and they pee there. That's why I'm standing there so I don't have to, while I'm videoing, I don't have people um, pee there. It's, it's for the best of everyone, really. Next question, of course, is uh, from Jonathan Stern. I keep on getting recommendations from Ask a Mortician. Is YouTube planning on killing me? No, just wanting you to um, be um, prepared for the inevitable that is going to happen to all of us because of this virus thing that's going around, if you don't know about it. Um, so, you just... So, um, she's a lovely young woman. A very lovely young woman, and you should you should check out her channel and and watch her very lovely Jeremy Benson's head. Next question um, could be from uh, Herbie Vasalus. If you could burn your dream woman, but her hobby is collecting dead things like insects, snakes, bats, etc., would that, would that put you off or make or give you more wood? Well, um, it's. I, I suppose it's better than them, like, collecting live snakes and, um, insects and, and bats and that sort of thing. My cat away already does that. Um, but since the lady from Master of Mortician is my dream lady, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose, um, I've already got the... I've, I've already got the dead bats and stuff. I have to leave it at that for a while. I'll have to think about that and ponder that really, really, really a lot. Really a lot. Next question, of course, uh, could be um, from Jazzy Jezza. If World War Three broke out, which country right now would be the most likely uh, one the world would end up fighting against? Well, of course, um, I think it would be Trump. It wouldn't be America. It would be like Trump because he's going. He's going to like betray everybody in the end um, in order to do whatever he wants to do, which is like steal a lot of money so yeah got to watch out for him watch out for him and you know try to try to not put him in charge of anything ah uh, he's in charge of what and the pandemic response right Matt Yabs asks, did you run out of volume credits when you did your last video? I'm trying to say is where uh, you were, uh, uh, spread the, what volume you had across the entirety of the video. Did someone steal half your volume um, or did you leave some of it in your... Well, I just, I just adjusted it halfway through because I was yelling a bit. My, my voice was loud or something. I, I didn't adjust it back up after I dipped it a bit because there was a bit of rustling stuff, you know. I'm, I'm sorry. Just watch the previous video, see where what happened. I don't know. Um, next question. Um, what should be the new US national anthem? Well, of course, that, that depends on, um, you know, there's certain other songs that are already taken up and, and, well, you know, the, um, the old drinking song that's that's there at the moment is, um, yeah, it, it used to be a drinking song and that, that's good, that's good if you want to drink and, and America was one of the few nations on the planet that actually banned drinking 
like alcohol. That wasn't like Muslim and stuff. Um, so, you, yeah, you've got to have some other drinking song. And 99 bottles of beer on the wall might be good. Um, or other songs that are suitable for using in bars and things. Because that, that, I mean, look, if you're going to have a national anthem, you're going to want to sing it at, like, football and things. And if you're going to sing it at football, you're going to have to have football players sing it, right? And you've got to, if you're going to have football players singing your national anthem, it's got to be um, easily sung by people who are tone deaf and are completely unresponsive to pitch changes and also think that louder is higher in pitch. Um, so 99 bottles of beer on the wall could do that, like all of it, um, completely, completely precisely and just change it to, change the words to, um, something, 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 um, something that wall and Mexico's going to pay. I, 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 that's, that's the only thing I can think of at the moment because I forgot to read all, all the questions. I, I read one of the questions because I put something behind there, but I didn't read all of the questions. James asked if uh, Trump wins the election in November, with whom will you be making your suicide pact? The planet. It's just going to be Earth and Asia, like, throughout the planet anyway. Um, so it's going to be communal. I mean, some people won't be aware of it, but yeah, that's how it's going. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to stay around for, for the end. I'd like to. I mean, unless it's going to take a really long time and I don't want to get really, really old and, and you know, I'm, I'm watching from from bed and and then all of a sudden everybody dies uh, this is getting a bit uh, gloomy let's try just um, um, one uh, Emperor Fabulous is whiskey a soup yes no it's a beverage it's it's um, the Emperor Fabulous uh, also do humans taste like chutney no <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I like Vegemite. I should actually put the lid on the Vegemite before I pick it up and put the, accidentally get your fingers in and stuff. Emperor Fabulous also asked the last question of the day. What is the national anthem of Moss Eisley? Well, of course, I uh, have had a look at all of the historical um, um, documents uh, regarding that um, uh, particular nation, and um, I have I have um, several um, theories on that. Um, but in order to do that, I'm going to have to um, um, in, in order for me to perform it, I'm going to have to uh, put on the um, actual. Um, my regalia. Um, there's, there we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's it for tell it someone for this week. If you would like to ask me a question, then you can answer the question in the underpants section below where the questions get asked. Or you can answer this dovetail question right here, um, which is also asked in the answered in the same place that the question normally gets asked, except like a little bit further down or further up or maybe to the side or something, so I can um, see the answers and um, make sure that it's, um, it's separate from the actual questions that are also asked in the same place and being confusing. 
Um, um, that, uh, that thing and that thing, I've done that, I've done that, I, I, I did the thing with the voice, ah, uh, ah, uh, man, woman, person, calendar, CD. I don't have a cool sign off.